Hello, everyone. What you're seeing right now is a, uh, a recently released game. In fact, it only released like two or three days ago, although it's been in, in uh, development for a couple of years now. Uh, this is Ion Fury. Formerly Ion Maiden. You can thank the, uh, the rock band Iron Maiden for the, uh, for the name change. This is, um, a game that's been subject to a bit of, um, a bit of controversy. I'm currently playing the, uh, one of the bonus modes. Anyway, I'm sure you all have heard about this, um, God knows I wish I hadn't. Basically what happened was, some oversensitive shitheads over at, uh, at Reset Era, a site that's worth nobody's time, let's be honest here, got a bit upset upon finding a homophobic message hidden in the um, hidden in the overflow of one of the maps of the full release um, there was also an issue with uh, a soap bottle that said okay a an obvious parody of Olay. Um, void points and 3D realms were like, yeah, yeah, that's not a, that's not pretty cool. That's not cool. The one of our employees went, uh, went and put that in independently, and we are going to be uh, making changes as needed. Void point also. Uh, also donated 10 G's to the Trevor Project, a uh, a charity that helps nonprofit. I mean, a charity, a nonprofit charity. My fucking brain is a shambles today. A nonprofit charity that assists uh, LGBTQ youth deal with various issues that they might encounter. It, they also include a uh, a suicide prevention hotline. You know, they're, they're basically a support system for LGBTQ youth, where in places where they might not get support otherwise. And let's be honest, there's more than a few places they wouldn't get support otherwise around here. Um. Now. My opinions on Reset Era aside, I'm no fan. Um, I think the reaction to this has really shown an ugly side to people, and I think it's only validated Void Point's decision to, uh, to make the edits that they're making. A lot of the review bombers and other, um, I'll say critics to be kind, but, but they're not really criticizing, they're just shouting, whatever, but I'm gonna say critics, technicalities and all that other good shit, um, you know, a lot of it has devolved into, uh, into the sort of homophobic, transphobic language that is all too common among, shall we say, right-wing agitators. You know, calling, calling transgenders mutants, you know, accusing the Tre Trevor Project of supporting pedophilia and forced gender reassignment, neither of which are true, mind you. You know, I've been, I myself have been called a fag at least once. That was, that was fun. Um, 
Yeah, it's a good thing I don't monetize this channel, because this, this shit wouldn't have been monetized anyway. Um, well, I shouldn't have done that. Uh, anyway, like I was saying. Um, like that. Um, it's a uh, bum. Basically, there, t there are two things that ended up forming my opinion to uh, support a void points decision. One is the fact that it was done by a single employee. There was also another employee who uh, who spread the uh, the the whole right wing anti transgender memes on the Discord, but that's a whole nother issue. Um, and it's certainly the right of a developer of a development house to make sure that no one person is above the rest of the team. You know, I don't know about anybody else, but I'd certainly be upset if one loose fucking cannon ruined the reputation of a game I'd spent... God, how long has this game been around? Been in development at least two years, I think? It, it's been a minute. <laughs> so, and yeah, I'd, I'd be angry about that. And I think it's, uh... Is that done? And I think it's right for for the majority of a developer to to say hey we don't agree with this you know this is this is not our stance we're going to make corrections you know nothing nothing huge there it's not like they're going to neuter the game or anything but also look at the people protest look at the people who are well protesting let let's 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 drop the pin here. Look at the fucking bigots. You know what I'm saying? Look at the people saying all the horrible shit about transgenders, about people on the left, about gay people, about pretty much anybody. Does does Void Point 3D Realms or really anybody want to be associated with that kind of person? I know that if I ran a development studio or a publisher, I wouldn't want anything to do with these people. You know, th these are the people that that when the mainstream media wants to target ga target gamers and say we're all fucking deviants with no um, with no empathy or what have you, these are the people that they point at. You know what I'm saying? And I'd like to think that whoever's, oh shit, whoever's looking at this video, I would like to think that they know that most gamers are pretty level-headed fucking people. In case you're wondering, by the way, this is a uh, special mode called Bombardier Trial, which is basically the, uh, the preview campaign map, but just with uh, infinite bowling bombs and no other weapons. Anyway, back to topic. Um, back to top. Back to topic. What the fuck? Um, at some point, you have to decide. You know what? I don't want to hang around. I don't want to be associated with certain types of people. And and there and there has to be. There has to be, for any business, a moment of, you know, who's my customer, right? Who am I going to, who am I going to pander to, or cater to, but that's how, I don't think pandering is a good thing in any sort of business, but who's going to be my principal market, who am I going to uh, present myself as a uh, as being about, you know what I'm saying? And I think it's easy to, to look at, you know, your one angry gamer crowd, your uh, your bit shoot crowd, um, you know, fucking Daily Stormer type of people. 
you know, some of the more niche YouTube channels. It's easy to look at them and be like, yeah, that's not... We don't want to be associated with that. We don't want to be... We don't want to be perceived as an ally of that side, sort of thinking. Which, you know... I don't think any reasonable person would, uh... Would blame them for. So, where does that leave us? The next patch is going to remove the Oge bottle and the offensive, uh, the offensive out of, uh, out of play area text. Which, let's be honest, it wasn't a joke. It was just, you know, some BS developer venting his spleen. Probably the same one that made the comments on the Discord, but whatever. But, for the most part, you know, it's going to be the same otherwise. You can see there's plenty of, uh, of pure Al humor here. You might have noticed me passing by the Washington Foreskins uh, logo. By the way, I'd love that to be the real fucking name. That'd be so fucking hilarious. All the people, all the people talk about the Redskins name. Uh, I'd love to see them try to try to justify the fucking Foreskins. That'd be fucking hilarious. But you know, but going back to this. Like, look at the people who are talking. It's almost exclusively people with a very anti-transgender, anti-gay mindset. And think to yourself, if I were running a business, would I want to be, would I want to be associated with them? I'm going to assume that most of y'all, although I'm sure I'll get a few angry-ass comments, I'm sure most of y'all will be like, nah, nah, I'm good. You know, I'd, I'm, I'd like to be, I'd like to cast a wide net, not a shallow net. I mean, a wide net, not a, uh, not a narrow net, deep net, listen. You know, but, but yeah, that, that's the issue, you know, we are, um, we are living in a uh, time, like it or not, where everything you do is put into that lens of who do you want to associate with. And it sucks that the lines have to be drawn so, uh, so strictly. But, it's been that way for a long-ass time now, at least since 2015. Probably much, much longer than that, but at least since 2015. Um, and, honestly, I think it's certainly tragic that it's come to this. Well, first off, fuck all y'all for making me defend the fucking stance by goddamn Reset Era. I mean, those... I'm no fan of them. They've, uh... They've done plenty of damage, too. Most, uh, notably... Diminishing the impact of the, uh... Diminishing the sympathy, I mean. Diminishing the sympathy for people with actual mental illness. By equating the term trigger with simply being upset at something. I think that's done a lot of harm. Way more harm than good. And honestly, that by itself is pretty unforgivable. But... But, you know, you gotta give the devil his due. Right is right. You know, as uh, Jim Cornette once said a long time ago. And... And yeah, I mean, if... If the people advocating for a certain position are almost all bad people, a company's got to distance themselves from that. 
And it doesn't help that, again, this this was the action of one, maybe two, but let's be honest, most likely one employee who went against the hole to uh, to put this bullshit out to the world. But, yeah, I mean, that's not... Everybody talk about how they're not going to... All these people talk about, oh, we're not going to buy the game, oh, we're going to boycott you. That's probably what 3D Realms wants. I wouldn't want that kind of person as, you know, being the customer or the customer that everybody perceives of my brand. I remember uh, Sid Alpha, he used to... um. He used to not mind uh, when trolls would shit post and put negative shit and flame on on his comment sections. But eventually, he came to the realization that not not only were they driving everyone else away, but if he didn't say something, he'd be obliged to them. Like they'd be the only people he has left. And that's why he started moderating his uh, his comment sections. Granted, I'm not a fan of Sid Alpha either. He can lean a bit too hard into the uh, quartering Sargon type of uh, type of content. But nice. but you know he he at least. He at least isn't as detestable as most of these people. You know what I'm saying? I'm sure he disagrees with this, which is fine. I don't mind disagreements. I just mind when they're coming from, like I said, really shitty people. Boom. Yeah, get that. But, uh, yeah, I mean, I think whether you, um, agree with what Voidpoint's doing or not, you know, it is possible to have legitimate concerns about, uh, future censorship, even though I don't think that's gonna happen. I mean, after all, it is Reset Era, they are gonna overreach. Uh... But, um, but yeah, at, at, I think this is just a case of Void Point and 3D Realm saying, hey, we need to decide where we stand. This is, uh, this is something of a partisan issue now, and it's an issue of, you know, of human decency. And either we side with Either we side with the crazies or with the transphobes. That's... By the way, that's not an enviable position. You know what I'm saying? But then again, I guess that's, that's the world, you know? You... There's really not... Not a good person, to be said. Just a less evil. Someone who maybe aligns with you at the moment. But, uh... But yeah, I mean, to the layman or the person who's looking at this fucking shitstorm from the outside, I'd say, you know, get this fucking game. It's amazing. It's full of, it's not only full of attitude, but it's also just a beautifully designed game. It's enormously long. It's... You know, it, it's well made. It's got a lot of heart. It's probably the first game to really, I feel, nail the old school feel, which is probably because it's uh, using an old school engine. It's from a source port of build called Eduke. And it's fucking amazing. I might do a proper one shot, or hell, I might even play through this game at one point. But. But yeah, for people on the outside, get this game. For people who are uh, 
who are just a bit perturbed by what they might see as unnecessary censorship, consider where these people are coming from. Because when you have to pick two detestable factions, you sometimes gotta hold your nose and pick the least detestable one. And quite frankly, if you are one of those transphobes who who I'm sure are going to type some nasty shit in the comments, um, do me a favor and fuck off. You're not going to find an ally with this channel. You're not going to find... You're not going to find a, um a friend or someone who sympathizes with your views, I think. You know, some of the shit I've seen are disgusting. Like I said, I've already been... I've already had a slur lodged at me for daring to disagree with them. You know... Don't bother. Don't subscribe. If you are subscribed, unsubscribe. And yeah, just seriously, fuck off. Nobody likes you. But yeah, those are uh, those are my thoughts, and uh, it's a shitty topic. I, you know what? I hate the topic of politics in games. I'm gonna be honest with you, because it's so fucking loaded on both sides. When when the left says that they want to see more political content in games, what they mean is they want their side to be uh, to be espoused in glorified propaganda pieces. The right, when they say they don't want politics in games, what they mean is stop women, humanizing women and minorities. I've come to find in the years since Gamergate that neither side really gives a fuck about free speech. At least not among the hardcores. And really neither side honestly gives a shit about um, about the minorities that they claim to stand for. Part of why I hate Reset Era so damn much. It's all it's all power tripping, basically, and then And that leaves us normal people in the fucking middle, and it, it sucks. <laughs> be real with you, it fucking sucks to be in the middle of these two extremes. Part of why I'm hoping Biden wins the Democratic primary, I don't want to have to choose between one fucking extremist and another. You know? You know, that, that, that would just basically be the final death knell of this country if all we had were extremists to, uh, to choose from. You, you, need, you need that middle view for, for any society, any group of people to thrive. Because people are going to argue. People are going to have disagreements. And if, you can't, and if you can't meet people halfway, if you can't find common ground, and most importantly, if you can't, if you can't learn to accept the humanity of the other side, then, well, you end up with... Uh, a fucking weird Cheeto as the president, and a uh, a resurgent Nazi party, a um, and the declining moderate influence, even in the left, even in the Democrats. Anyway, I've, I think I've rambled long enough. Hopefully, next time we talk, it'll be uh, happier. Then again, I suppose it couldn't be any fucking sadder than this. I mean, shit. You know, th this this is fucking... Remember when, remember when we used to just play games just to fucking play games? Remember that? I do. Those are fucking good times. I miss them. But enough of that. Thank you for your time. And, uh... Well, tell me what you think in the comments. Uh, try not to be too fucking nasty. And uh, God bless.